okay so what's up guys and this is my new studio welcome to this new studio it is still incomplete as of now but there are a lot of things which i want to do for this studio there will be a neon light on this side another light on this side a lot of decorations and stuff but it is still incomplete but my other room is a little bit occupied so i'm going to use this studio as it is as of now so if you guys like this particular studio and like this particular setting i know it is daytime so the lights are all even out and stuff in night time there will be a lot of more contrast and bright lights and stuff a lot more bokeh as well so it will look much more better at night and one more issue is that the air conditioner is not working so it is currently a little bit bad condition so if you guys hear some kind of a water droplets please ignore it so with that being said in this particular video we are going to talk about benti case tattoo rotation effect few days back i made that particular tutorial on how to move those particular planes and most of you commented that you loved that video and you also want to see how bentike did that tattoo rotation effect in which the tattoo or the compass which was the tattoo actually so let me explain you what this particular effect is all about now if you just see that particular effect you will see that that particular effect will look good when the tattoo is totally parallel to the camera if it is at an angle or so that particular effect will not happen so you know to just make that particular effect what you need to do is shoot something which is very much parallel so for example if there is a tattoo on this side make sure the camera is pointing right here directly parallel to my hand so that the tattoo comes directly parallel on the frame so after doing that you need to just export one frame and then go to photoshop and then in photoshop select the particular line of that compass or that particular bar where the direction is shown just select that particular area and create a new layer with it after you create a new layer with it make sure to remove that particular bar from the original layer so in simple words this may be a tattoo and this will be your final result this will be the main layer and this will be the upper layer so after doing that you guys must be wondering why photoshop why this is one frame now if you just see bentica's latest video very closely you are going to see that when the tattoo was moving or rotating you are going to notice that there was only zoom in and zoom out which can be done very well in after effects but there was no left or right movement there was a little bit of right movement right after the tattoo rotation was finished but not when the tattoo rotation was happening so you not to just make this particular effect you need to export one frame go to photoshop do this particular steps and then drag that particular psd file back into after effects after you import the file back into after effects you want to follow certain steps which i am going to show you in this particular video and that will pretty much do the job really well so right now i am going to jump right into after effects okay so i am going to just show the basic steps which i did on photoshop just to show you guys what i actually did to make this particular effect so first thing what i basically did was i imported the photo after that i simply selected the bar of the compass just like this after selecting the bar of the compass i removed all the extra edges which resulted me getting this particular thing and make sure to get this particular compass bar in a new layer make sure to get this in a new layer now i want to just unhide this particular layer and then go back to the original layer after going back to the original layer i am going to just simply remove this particular bar from the original layer by simply content aware fill or just selecting and removing some stuff and after that i could see that it was not looking very good so i just copied a little bit from the edges and then blemished them a little bit and blended it well so after that this is the final result which i have received so this is the upper layer with only the compass bar and this is the main background layer with the compass without the bar so this is what you need to do in photoshop so after that we are going to jump right into after effects and follow the certain steps So in After Effects, just drag the particular PSD file which you just made right into the composition, just like this, and make sure the Merge Layer Style into Footages is selected and click on OK. Now make sure to frame it properly because this is in a portrait form. So I'm going to just scale it up a little bit, just like this, and reposition it a little bit more. All right. Then after that, double click on the PSD file, and then you are going to see two layers. One the main layer and another one is a compass bar layer as you can see if i just unhide this layer the other layer is visible just like this so after that what you need to do is you need to just add a rotation keyframe but before adding the rotation keyframe just see the upper layer i am going to just zoom it in just a little bit and then double tap on the upper layer the layer with only the compass bar 
So double tap on the compass bar just like this and after that you want to see this particular panel appearing and then after that you need to check that this particular point should be in the center of the compass not in the center of the frame. So make sure to adjust that just like this. After that go back to the previous one. It may get a little bit repositioned so make sure to just get it back to its original position. I want to check the center of this particular point once more. Make sure it is in the center of the compass otherwise this effect will not look good. Alright so after that this is pretty much simple. After that just go to the transform panel. Set a keyframe to the rotation. Go few frames later. Just like this. Set a keyframe again and set a rotation to whatever you feel like. Now one thing which you guys need to keep in mind is make sure to keep the duration less than 2 seconds otherwise this effect will not look good. A longer duration will make the effect a lot more boring. Because as you can see the rotation is very slow. So I'm going to just decrease the duration a little bit. Make sure it is less than 2 seconds because after that this will look really good. So as you can see right now although the duration is very less the speed is also great but it doesn't look that great. So you know to just make it a little bit more seamless and a little bit more cinematic what you guys need to do is you need to select both of these keyframes right click keyframe assistant and then after that click on easy ease and then go to the speed graph just like this and just drag these two points right on this side this will just make it a little bit more faster and a little bit more cinematic just like this as you can see it first slows down then speeds up rapidly and then slows down again this is the magic of the speed graph and this is pretty much it. After that, if you guys want to, you guys can add camera shake, some motion blur if you guys want to. You guys can add some zoom in and zoom out keyframes just like Ben Tika did. After that, after this, just continue with your normal sequence right after this frame. Make sure after this frame your normal video starts and it will pretty much do the job. And then this is pretty much it. Add some sound effects and it will look really good. And this is the final result. Thank you so much guys, I hope you guys like this particular video and if you guys like this particular video then do make sure to subscribe to my channel and press the like button and comment down below because a comment and a like actually makes an YouTuber's day. Trust me, it actually does. So a little bit of support really matters from you guys. So if you guys like this particular video, comment down below, press the thumbs up button and I'll be back with a similar video soon. Peace out.